Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will look at the divisibility by 7. So the rule for divisibility by 7 states that a number is divisible by 7 if the difference between twice the last digit and the number formed by rest of the digits is either 0 or multiple of 7. Now this is not as simple as was the case for 2, 3 or 6. This is little complicated but not very complicated as well. Let's take one example to understand this. Let us suppose we take the example of a number 291. So what we need to do in this case is we will have to find out the difference between twice the last digit. So which is the last digit? The digit at its unit place that is the last digit. So basically when we say last digit I am talking about the digit at the units place or ones place. So twice this digit so that is basically 2 into 1 and the number formed by rest of the digits. What is the rest of the digits? The number that is formed by rest of the digit is 29. So you have to find the difference between these two. So 29 minus 2 into 1. So twice the last digit and the remaining number. So that these two numbers difference need to be found out. So what is the difference in this case? It is 27. Now this difference if it is either 0 or a multiple of 7 only in that case the number will be divisible by 7. Now quickly write down the multiples of 7 in one corner. So the multiples of 7 would be something like this 7 1 is 7, 7 2 is 14, 7 3 is 21, 7 4 is 28, 7 5 is 35, 7 6 is 42 and so on. So this is how the multiples would look like. So 27 is not a multiple of 7. Therefore the number 291 is not divisible by 7. So let us look at other examples. Let us suppose you have a number 3521. So in this case how would you check for divisibility by 7? First the last consider the last digit multiply it by 2, subtract it from the remaining number that is 352. So basically it is 350. Now do you know if 350 is divisible by 7 or not because 350 is also a big number. So it is difficult to tell if it is a multiple of 7 or not. So what we do we repeat the same process. So which is the last digit 0, multiply it by 2 and then subtract it from rest of the number that is from 35. So 35 minus 0. So this is equal to 35. Now can you tell if 35 is divisible by 7? Yes it is. Therefore this number is divisible by 7. So this is how we can decide whether a number is divisible by 7 or not. Now here also, now this, this, this was little complicated that we have to find out, we have to subtract twice the last digit from the remaining number. So why is such a complicated system is in place? So you might be curious to know how this rule works. Why have we made this as a rule for divisibility by 7? Now in order to explain this I will again take the same example of 3, 5, 2, 1. Now if we expand this number, how would I expand this number? As usual units, tens, hundreds and thousands. So this will be expanded as 3 into 1000 plus 5 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 1 into 1. This is how we will expand the numbers. Now this number can be very well written as if you look at it all these terms except the units place all other terms are multiples of 10, tens place, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh all of them would be multiple of 10. So we can write it as 10 into 300 plus 50 plus 2 plus 1. So we can write it in this form. So basically we have written the number. The number has been written in the form 10x plus y. 
that is 10 into this entire part which is considered as x plus y. What is y? y is the last digit that is the digit at the units place. So this number has been written in the form of 10x plus y. Now what we have to prove? We have to find out if 10x plus y is divisible by 7 or not. Right? So how can we handle this 10x part more smartly in a smarter way? Now, if we say that 10x plus y is divisible by 7, it is as good as saying that 10x plus y minus 21y is divisible by 7. Now, this doesn't mean that I am saying that 10x plus y is equal to 10x plus y minus 21y. I am not saying that. I am saying that if I say that 10x plus y is divisible by 7, saying this and saying this is the same. Why? Because 21y, 21 is a multiple of Seven. So 21y, this term is divisible by 7. So if I say that this term is divisible by 7, if I say that 10x plus y is divisible by 7, then I can also say that 10x plus y minus 21y is also divisible by 7 because I have just added an additional term which is already divisible by 7. So students please understand this that when I am writing in this way I am only writing it as a trick so that I can arrive at a conclusion to prove that why are we doing these twice the last digit and then finding out the difference. So why are we doing that? So to arrive at that point I am just assuming this that let us say that we say that this number which is in the form of 10x plus y is divisible by 7. So if I say this, it is same as saying 10x plus y minus 21y is divisible by 7 because in the first sentence we assumed that this part is divisible by 7 and the new part that we have introduced, we have introduced that part in such a way that it is a multiple of 7. So we can say that this entire thing is divisible by 7. Now is there any better way in which we can write this? So this can be written as 10x minus 20y because minus 21y plus y will give us minus 20y. So this can be written as 10 into x minus 2y. Right? So basically now our challenge is to decide if this part is, is this part divisible by 7? Now what exactly is this part? This part is basically the difference between x and 2 times y. And what was y? y was nothing but the digit in the units place. That is the last digit. So twice the last digit subtracted from x where x was the remaining number. You see 300 plus 50 plus 2. That is 352. So 352 was the remaining number. So basically what are we trying to see is what we need to check is if the difference between the remaining number and twice the last digit is divisible by 7 or not. So that is how this entire concept of divisibility by 7 works. So let us try to put the same logic to some other number. Let us say the other number which we had considered that is 291. So 291 can be written as 2 into 100 plus 9 into 10 plus 1. So this can be written as 10 into 20 plus 9 plus 1. So here what is x? x is this. And what is y? y is this. So what we have to check? We have to check if x minus 2y is divisible by 7 or not. So x is 29 minus 2y that is 2 into 1. So 29 minus 2 into 1. In fact that is what we had done in the previous slide to find out if 291 is divisible by 7 or not. So this is how divisibility by 7 works. Now at, at your level uh, you might not have studied about divisibility by 7 in your textbooks. That's because it is slightly more difficult as compared to other numbers. 
but still i have included it otherwise you would have been curious that why divisibility by 7 is missing so that is why i have included it please pay more attention to it then you will be able to understand this so let us quickly look at these numbers and check if they are divisible by 7 2 4 5 6 so rest of the numbers except the last digit that is 245 minus twice the last digit that is 2 into 6 so this would be equal to 233 but this is also a big number to decide whether it is divisible by 7 or not so we will repeat the process so except the last number the entire number is 23 minus 2 times the last digit that is 2 into 3 so this is equal to 23 minus 6 which is 17 now is 17 divisible by 7 no so the number is not divisible by 7. Let us look at the next number. It is 10512760. So here let us perform the first step. So let's see how many steps we have to perform. So initially we will consider the entire number except the last digit. 10512760 minus 2 into 0. So that is basically 0. So this will be 10512276. So we do not know if this is divisible by 7 or not. So we repeat the process. What do we do? We consider the entire number except the last digit and then subtract 2 times the last digit. So 2 into 6 that would be 12. So once we subtract 12 from this we get 105115. Again we are not sure if this would be divisible by 7 or not. So we repeat the process. 105115 not 5 we will leave the last digit minus 2 into 5 which is 10 so this gives us 10501 so you see gradually the number is reducing and finally we will reach at a number looking at which we will be able to tell if that is divisible by 7 or not so here we get 1048 now again another step where we do 104 minus 2 times 8 that is 16. So this gives 88. Now can you tell if 88 is divisible by 7 or not? Is 88 a multiple of 7? No. Therefore this number is also not divisible by 7. In a similar way 131001 this can also be checked in this fashion in the first step 13100 minus 2 into 1. So this would give 13098. Looking at this we can't decide anything so we will repeat the process 1309 minus 2 into 8 and this would give 1293. This is still a big number. So we will again repeat the process it would be 129 minus 2 into 3. That is 129 minus 6 which would be 123. Now if we repeat this process one more time then we will be able to reach at a smaller number. So we get it as 6. Now is 6 divisible by 7? No it is not divisible by 7. Therefore this number as a whole is also not divisible by 7. So in this fashion, we can decide if a number is divisible by 7 or not. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple 4-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.